Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are 16 persons, A1 through A16. They went to Amarnath Caves. They were divided into four groups with four persons in each group. Okay, the groups were numbered G1 to G4 and each group was assigned a separate guide. After first day, the guide of G4 left and the members were shifted to other groups. So you can see that G4 uh, had these four people and they were shifted to these two groups. Okay. Then similarly after day 2, G3 left. So now these people are readjusted in the remaining groups. And there was another readjustment after day 3. So the groups remain two only but there is shuffling of people. Right. Now it is given that initially the average age of a person in G1 was 22, G2 was 24, G3 was 25 and G4 was 27. So similarly we are given the average age of a particular group on each of the occasions. Okay, so using this we need to answer the questions. We need to see that how many values can we uniquely determine and uh, what are some of these values. So uh, now one first day the average is given to us and each group has four members. So we can simply multiply by four. So this total is 88. This total is uh, 96. This total is 100 and this total is 108. So these are the total ages of the people on the first day, right? Now uh, it is given that after first day there is a shift and uh, we are uh, we need to find this uh, that how much is this total will remain 88 only. The very first question is average age of G3 on day 2 that is after day 1. Okay, so we need to find their average age. So we can find the grand sum here and accordingly we can solve for the remaining values. So this is 184, 284, 392. Total is 392. So the total age of all these 16 persons is going to be 392. So now on <coughs> day one, uh, day two, after day one, that is after day one, that average age of G2 is 25. So we can see that there are six people in this group. Okay, so this becomes 150. So this is 238. We need to have a total of 154 to make it 392. So the first question can be answered that average age will be 154 by 6 which is 25.67 years, right? Now uh, let's come to this point. It says that the average age of a person in G1 after day 2 became 21, okay? So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and the average age is 21. So the total is going to be 147. And this total is going to be 245 because grand total is 392. Now it is given that after day 3, the average age of a person in G1 was equal to that in G2, right? And if you count the number of people, it is 8 in both the groups. 8 people here, 8 people here. So the total will be equal, right? Average is same. That means the sum of the ages is going to be same. So total is 392 divided into two parts, we will get 196 each, okay. Now using this data, we will try to find out what all values can be figured out and then answer the remaining questions. So first of all, if you see after <coughs> day one, there is a shift in these two groups. So in this case, 13 and 14 are ex added extra and this total is changing from 96 to 150. So A13 plus A14 is going to be 150 minus 96, which is 54, okay. Similarly, this total has become 154. So A15 plus A16 is also 54, right. Now, if you look at this data after day 2, we have 15 and 16 and 12 added here. It becomes 147. Now, 15 and 16 is 54. So 88 plus 54 will make 142. So this means 812 is 5. So one of the values that we can find is 812, which is 5 years old. Okay. Now if you look at this group, right? See, this total is 150. These four, 
okay then 13 and 14 it is 150 so we have 9 10 and 11 three people being added so a9 plus a10 plus a11 is going to be 95 because 95 years is increasing and these three people are added extra so we have 95 now coming to the last day we will see what is the shift in people so this if we see uh, 12 14 14 is the extra person added here right so all these were present so 14 is extra added this is 196 so a 14 is basically 196 minus 147 that will be 49 years so a 14 is 49 years and then we have this is 49 so this means a 13 is going to be 5 years old okay and uh, if you notice this change this is a 8 till here and 9 10 11 is here 13 is separated and uh, 14 is gone here so there is an increase decrease of 49 and we can only find a 13 using it 15 and so these two we have figured out 15 and 16 are always together like if you see here they were together here then together here then together here okay so we cannot we we are not separating them so we cannot find their values distinctly similarly 9 10 11 were uh, present here okay and then they went uh, they remained in this group and they went here and then here so they are not yet separated so we cannot find them individually so all in all we can find just three values out of these 16 so we can find uniquely three <coughs> age of three people next question which of the following pairs of persons have equal ages so a12 and a13 both are of five years if among a9 a10 and a11 no one is below 30 years of age right so no one is below 30 means they can be 30 no one is below 30 but they can be 30 it is not saying that it has to be greater than 30 and it is it also does not say that their ages are distinct so we need to find the maximum age of a11 put both these as minimum possible that is 30 so this will give us a11 as 35 if the ages of a1 a2 a3 a4 and a5 in that order are consecutive increasing odd numbers what is the average age of a6 a7 and a8 for this you do not have to find all these values we could have directly answered this question first so we have these four adding up to 88 so let us say a1 is x then a2 will be x plus 2 x plus 4 and x plus 6 so we have a total of 4x plus 12 which is 88 so x is 19 right so we have the ages as 19 21 23 25 and 27 so this is 27 and this is 96 so 96 minus 27 we have this total as 69 years old and divided by 3 so we have their average as 23 years so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions i hope you loved solving this set